hurt. Unveil the heartbreaking news story about the moment the Queen drew her last breath. Queen Elizabeth II will be remembered for many things, and being an avid animal lover is one of them, with Her Majesty having loved nothing more than spending time with her pet dogs. As the late monarch had welcomed a new furry family member in 2022, with a new addition joining the other pups, including one gifted from the Queen's second birthday last year. As Her Majesty had spent her final days in Balmoral, along with King Charles and Princess Anne, as it was since been shared that her adored corgis were there with her in her final moments. But one of her beloved companions, who said to have spent much of her last 18 years, was sadly not by her side as she had devastatingly lost her oldest and last surviving pet dog at the start of the summer. Candy, who was a cross between a Dutch hound and a Welsh corgi, had sadly died soon after she arrived in the Scottish Highlands at the beginning of the summer, leaving Her Majesty distraught. As the loss of the crossbreed had been a huge blow to the Queen, as Candy had been with her since 2004, making her more than 18 years old, a remarkable age for any dog. As Moik and Sandy were also in attendance at the Queen's state funeral, and were pictured waiting for her owner to complete her final journey to Windsor Castle for the comital service on September 19th. As the pair are just two of the 30 corgis that the Queen owned during her 70-year reign, with Her Majesty's love for the dog breed becoming an iconic element of her image. As the Queen's beloved fell pony, Carlton Lima Emma, was also spotted on the grounds of Windsor Castle, as the royal family had farewelled the monarch. As the Queen had reportedly stopped breeding her corgis in 2015, as she did not want to leave any behind after she had died. And Prince Andrew had given Mick, named after Loic Mick, an Alba Balmoral estate to the Queen as a pup, along with another named Fergus. And when Fergus had died three months later, another corgi, Sandy, was found to replace him with the help of the Queen's granddaughter, Princess Beatrice. And although the Queen had a daughter of corgis, her pets did not always reciprocate her unwavering loyalty. And in the 1980s, she is nipped on the hand by a corgi and it needed stitches. As she then called the behavior expert Dr. Roger Mugford to manage the pack, which was made up of nine corgis at the time, one of which was unruly, as it was said to live with Princess Anne. Dr. Mugford had advised the queen that she should have fewer dogs, and with the monarch responding, Dr. Mudford, Prince Philip has already told me that I have too many dogs. If I wanted advice of that sort, I could have saved you a fee. As the Queen was undeterred by the advice that she had received, and throughout her 70 year reign, she had 30 corgis. And from a special pet food prepared by the royal chefs, to joining her on tours, and even accompanying her to the Earl Grey and the biscuit in bed each morning, the Queen's pubs were a valued part of her life. As the Queen's son, Prince Andrew, and his daughter, Princess Beatrice, would reportedly take custody of the Queen's two corgis and doggy. Meanwhile, a new owner for Cocker Spaniel Lizzie is yet to be decided, as they will take care of the corgis Mick and Sandy, whilst the publication reports that it is thought that doggy Candy will also go and live with them too, as the dogs are used to each other's company. As for the Queen's remaining dog, nicknamed Lizzie, real name Wolverton Drama, the Cocker Spaniel currently lives with the trainer Ian Openshaw, as it is not known whether she will remain with him or will be moved to a different home.